Jeremy Corbyn. 251,000. He's only been the leader of the UK Labour Party for a matter of days. But already there are question marks about Jeremy Corbyn's policies, not least his position on the UK's relationship with the European Union. I don't think we'll exit the, U the European Union under Jeremy Corbyn or that he will campaign for that. I think the danger is that the Conservative right want us to exit along with UKIP. Uh, that is where the danger comes from. But he will be a pro-European Union person. something new. This is the new Apple TV. And we believe it is the future of television. Improvements include an app store, Siri voice control, and a remote control that also doubles as a games controller. This is more Nintendo Wii than PlayStation 4, but nonetheless there is potential for Apple to bring the legion of iOS developers that have paid billions of apps for its iPhones and iPads to the living room screen. The unfortunate reality right now is that if you're breached and you know it, for whatever reason, you're deemed irresponsible rather than a victim of a crime. We have got to, as a world community, start looking at the attackers doing this and stop blaming the victims for having a breach. Whatever they thought before to postpone the decision and to take a wait and see approach. And my reading of what they've done is that they're saying, yes, wait and see is the right policy. Now, it seems that the markets have responded to that. Mm. It's the only interpretation that seems to make any sense, so it may be completely random, mm. that they've decided, well, the Fed has decided that actually the world is worse than it thought earlier, yes. and if the Fed thinks it's worse than they thought, we should too, and so we should sell off. The Pope comes to the United States as a pastor, as a priest, not a politician, but it'd be naive to ignore the political consequences of this trip. Obviously, we're in the heat of a 2016 presidential election. Uh, this is a man who does not mince his words. Uh, he called unfettered capitalism the dung of the devil. So I think he will have harsh criticism of capitalism, but he also is someone who, who doesn't understand the nuances. So while he'll support immigration reform, he's not going to give us policies or, or, or agendas of how that gets done. This man speaks in broad strokes about moral issues. He's not going to offer details of policy of how immigration reform gets done, how we address climate change, EPA regulations, things like that. It's not, those aren't going to be on his agenda. He's going to do a broad stroke moral message of what's right and wrong. So let's be clear about this. Our company was dishonest with the EPA and the California Air Resources Board and with all of you. And in my German words, we have totally screwed up. We must fix those cars. The cars, we prevent this from ever happening again, and we have to make things right. VW has so far set aside 6.5 billion euros to deal with some of the fallout from the scandal, which it now says affects around 11 million vehicles worldwide. But though the CEO is gone, there is still much to concern investors who have sent the shares down 30% so far this week. There have been very few serious efforts at diplomacy. So we've now reached this point where Syria is basically imploding. The refugee crisis is spilling out from the region to Europe. Russia has signaled that it's not going to let Assad fall. We should be, and I stress we should be, at the point where political leaders in the United States, in Europe, and also in the region say, OK, it's time for a blank sheet of paper. We've all got to sit down, compromise, and come up with some sort of agreement which protects all the various interests, but also puts in place a, uh, the, a regime or a, a government in Syria that can restore some sort of order. Mm -hmm.